Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, and I'm just going to tell you really quickly, or not so quickly probably, about a resource I just found out about uh, to find translated books. So, I made a video reacting to the Booker International Prize recently, and that led me down the rabbit hole of books which were eligible for the prize but didn't make the long list. You know, the list has a hundred and something books, so no matter what your reading taste, there's probably a translated book on there or many for you to check out. So I will leave the link to the Goodreads list down below, but I'm just going to very quickly, hopefully, go through the translated new releases that I just found and really want to read. So I wanted to bring them to your attention. There's like 17 of them, I think, and they're from all over the world. So the way that I have ranked this uh, video, I'm going to talk about them from highest Goodreads rating to lowest Goodreads rating. I don't know why, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to leave all the specifics for each book down below, and without further ado, let's get this party started. So the first one up is from Argentina. This is Brickmakers by Selva Almada. Uh, so it says, Pajaro and Marciano are two young men, and they're dying in a deserted amusement park. The story begins almost at its end, just a little after the two main characters have faced off in a knife fight. Sounds very intriguing. Um, very, very intriguing. It's shelved as queer and fiction, um, and it's reminiscent of Hemingway, um, and it has fury and passion. Count me in. Next up is from Finland, Bola by Pajtim Stadovki. Um, the cover is to die for. I love skeletons and I love snakes and I love them together. So uh, this is about Arsim, a recently married student at a university who is in a place that is deeply hostile to Albanians. There he meets uh, a young man named Milos, a Serbian, in a cafe, but before the day is out everything has changed for them and within a week two milestones erupt in his married life. His wife announces her first pregnancy and he begins a life in secret as a gay man. I think. Um, so I'm really intrigued by this and I know that it has cheating but there's something about it that still intrigues me despite the fact that I really hate cheating. All right, we're moving on. Next up is from Korea. This is Violets by Shin Kyung Suk, um, translated by Anton Her, who has two books on the um, Booker International long list. Uh, so this is about a young girl who's ostracized in her community in South Korea. Her name her name is Namaye, um, and she becomes friends with another girl and there is a moment of physical intimacy in a field um, and there's a rejection and it sets her on this certain path of like isolation uh, and this is queer, lesbian, and from Korea, something I don't think I've ever read before. I've read gay things I think from Korea. I have not read any lesbian fiction so I'm very interested in this one. All right, next after that is from Spain. This is Jawbone by Monica Ojeda. Um, and it says, Fernanda and Annalise are so close, they are practically sisters, a double image inseparable. So how does Fernanda end up bound on the floor of a deserted cabin, held hostage by one of her teachers and estranged from Annalise? So as you like read farther down, it says that the teacher is obsessed with imitating her dead mother and is struggling to preserve her deteriorating sanity. I think this sounds bananas and it sounds so good. It says it's um, horror that draws from Melville and Lovecraft. Very, very intrigued uh, and I love the name of it. Uh, next is from Italy. This is Oxygen by Sasha Nespini. I've had my eye on this previously. Um, I've been aware of it for quite a while. So this is about um, an eight-year-old girl who goes missing, and 14, later, 14 years later, after all hope is lost, she's found alive in a container truck. Um, and then we switch to another point of view, Luca, who is having dinner with his father, who's a well-respected anthropologist. However, the police raids their home and arrest his father. Um, turns out he may not be the man that his son thought he was this whole time. I think it sounds dark. There's something about Italian literature which whenever I read the dark ones, they're 
always excellent, so high expectations for that one. Next up is from Canada, and this is translated from Quebecois, is that correct? Um, and this is shelved as horror. So this is the country will bring us no peace. Um, Simone and Marie can't seem to have a baby, and so they flee the city for a village where things will certainly be better. But the town is gloomy, even hostile. Things haven't been the same since the factory closed and a broadcast antenna was erected. Now there are no birds singing and people have started to disappear. I love a small town, which is very sinister. Love the vibes. Um, so that sounds great. Next is another one from Korea. And like, we are being blessed with just queer goodness. So this is again, lesbian rep. And I'm like, really, it's great. Great to see it. This is Concerning My Daughter by Kim Hai Jin. Um, so this is following a mother who has a 30 something year old daughter. And the daughter is queer. She has a girlfriend, she brings a girlfriend, and the mother cannot accept her daughter's relationship. However, at the same time, the mother cares for old people, and there is a woman at her center, and people say, oh, don't bother um, taking good care of her because she doesn't have any family, so she doesn't deserve like the same respect that you would give other people. And the mother can't accept it, so then it brings up the issue of like, if you respect this woman equally, even though she doesn't have family or children, then why wouldn't you respect your daughter if she goes down that same route? I think it sounds really fascinating um, if the author can pull it off. Um, and from Korea, we are moving to Germany. This is Milk Teeth by Helene Bukowski. This says, Skeld writes her thoughts on pieces of paper, making discoveries and revelations um, to understand her world. Her mother tells her litter, little, preferring solitude of her room, but their house is full of silence and secrets. Skald has ever known life with her mother, rarely crossing the earth to even visit their neighbors and never leaving their zone. She has never seen blue in the sky and their region has been plagued by fog for as long as she can remember. Um, when a girl called Mesis arrives from no one knows where, um, it totally reshifts her world. This is shelter's climate change fiction and dystopia. And I am very, very intrigued. The cover is also absolutely stunning. Next, we're gonna go to Columbia. So this is Stranger to the Moon by Avelio Rosero. And it says, um, this is a parable of pointed social criticism with naked humans imprisoned in a house to serve the needs of the vicious clothed ones. The novel describes what ensues when a single naked one privately rebels, risking his own death and that of his fellow prisoners. I don't really need to know more. That just sounds extremely interesting to me. Um, after that, we're gonna go to Denmark. This is The Dolls by Ursula Scavenius. It says, strange, macabre, and unsettling. These are short stories from the Danish master of absurdist fiction. Uh, so this has four stories. Um, characters are plagued by unexplained illnesses, boils, paralysis, and frostbite. A big sister descends into a basement. Another sister denies her younger brother. A third sister with memory loss is on the run. And a fourth set of siblings travel to Hungary with their late mother in a coffin. Sounds dark. And I like that. All right, next let's go to Germany again. Um, so this is The Liquid Land, and I must say, the cover of this is so stunning. Whoever designed it, absolute props to you. Uh, so it says, when her parents die in a car accident, tal talented Austrian physicist, Ruth is confronted with a problem. Her will, their will calls for them to be buried in their childhood home, but for strangers, the village of Gross Inland remains stubbornly hidden from view. When she finally finds her way there, she makes a disturbing discovery. Beneath the town lies a vast cavern that exerts a strange control over the villagers' lives. There are hidden clues about the hole everywhere, but nobody wants to talk about it, not even when it becomes clear that the stability of the town is in jeopardy. Just sounds bizarre and weird, and I'm down. Next, let's go ahead and go to Belgium. This is The Melting by Lise Spitt, uh, and it says, Eva can trace the route to Pim's farm with her eyes closed, even though she has not been for many years. There she grew up among the fields and dairy farms. There lies also the root of all their grief. It says, uh, 
burgeoning sexuality in childhood. Uh, they begin a game which will have serious and violent consequences for them all. 13 years later, she goes back with a large block of ice in her car boot to, ready to settle the score. Like, it's kind of giving me a game we play by Simona Vinci vibes with revenge. I'm so intrigued about this one. Um, next is No Touching by Ketty Roof from France. Um, this one is about uh, a teacher who teaches philosophy, um, and her life is between balancing Xanax, Propanadol, and Tupperware lunches in the staff room. Uh, but one evening she walks into a strip club and her life is changed forever. Uh, she thrills at the sensation of men's desire directed towards her. So she's a te she becomes a teacher by day and leads her secret life stripping at night. However, this delicate balance is shattered one evening by an unexpected visitor to the club. Sounds really interesting. Uh, and then we have one that I am extremely looking forward to because it follows the whole female killers trope that I just did. Uh, one of my five super specific rec videos on. I will also leave the link for that down below if you want to check it out. Um, this one is The Old Woman with the Knife, and it's again from Korea by Gyu Byung Mo. This is the kinetic story of a 65 year old female assassin who faces an unexpected threat in the twilight of her career. Sounds great. Uh, I love the idea of an older assassin. Love it. Uh, and then the next one is another Korean one. There's a bunch of Korean ones on this list. They're just killing it right now. Um, this is To the Warm Horizon by Jin Young Choi. Um, and it says, A group of Koreans are making their way across a disease-ravaged landscape. But to what end? This shows a post-apocalyptic world where humans seek purpose, kinship, and even intimacy. It focuses on two young women who find love against all odds and are trying to create a life in a dystopia. Again, oh my god, is, does that make three female female queer books from Korea? Yes, yes, giving me life. This is fabulous because one of my goals this year was to read more FF um, because just MM dominates everything. So I am so pleased by this. All right, we've got two left. Uh, the penultimate one is from Japan. This is At the Edge of the Woods by Masatsunu by Masatsugu Ono, uh, and I have read him before previously. He wrote Lion Cross Point, um, which was like a pretty quiet novel, and in this one, I think it's less quiet and it's more going for dark. So it says, a family of three settles into a house at the edge of the woods where they hope to make a life. However, something is very off. A sound at first like coughing and then like laughter emanates from the forest. Fantastical creatures live out there in a castle where feudal lords reigned and resistance fighters fell. When the mother, fearing another miscarriage, returns to her family's home to give birth, father and son are left to their own devices in rural isolation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and then the last one on this list is from Argentina. This is Tender by Ariana Harwitz. Um, and it's the third in a trilogy, but I've, I've heard that uh, you can read them separately, like they don't have to go together. A Mother's Madness, the French countryside, a uh, dreamscape of interconnected imagery, animals desire the functions of the body. Um, most troubling, the comfort of a teenage son. Scorning the conventionality of their small town, she withdraws him from school, and the two embark on ever more antisocial and dangerous behavior. So yeah, if I had to if I had to guess why this is the lowest rated one out of all of these, it's probably because of the like incestual family aspect. Um, it, that's always a hard thing to write and to read, and it rarely ever gets high ratings. So yes, uh, those were all the ones that I'm really interested in. I hope that. This will give you some to maybe check out. Also, definitely check out the list, which I'm going to link down below. Um, and I will talk to you in another video soon. Lots of love. Bye!